Hi guys, I'm back with another video. In this one, we will take a look at Wispop 5.1 version, which I have just installed, and by far it's the most customizable ROM for Xperia L for me. Jumping to the settings, uh, you will see this edit option, which includes Bliss interface and equalizer. This was not uh, on Cyanogen mode, which is Wispop based on. So let's go to Bliss interface. Here you will find basically all the edit features this ROM has. It includes status bar, navigation, recent option, notification drawer, heads up, and many, many other uh, customized options. In status bar, you have a variety of options to choose from. It includes clock and date. You can just um, choose the color you want. I have the red version here, some fonts here, and you won't find this. You you can even show the clock, uh, the you can even show the second clock. You can set it to center, to left, to right, and so on. By far, guys, this is the most customizable uh, room I have ever seen on this device. If you want to customize any of the UI, it's here. You have to do this in settings. Uh, this uh, includes also navigation options, which you can, which is also available on Cyanogen mode, but in this room you will customize it further. It includes right, swipe red, swipe up to do a variety of things. It includes torch, a screenshot, some ring and silent modes here. Really neat tweak, really, ap really appreciate it. Recent option and the notification drawer is uh, like on stock Cyanogen mode, but I have uh, seen here the edit option, which includes custom color options. This one I really like because I always wanted to do that on Cyanogen mode, but wasn't able to. What it does, it uh, changes the background of notification drawer uh, for example, I want to set it to uh, red. I can do that. I just swipe and it looks really, really cool if you want to theme your whole device. For now, I will disable it because I like the stock feel. Vibrate and touch, detailed Wi-Fi view and many, many options here. Definitely check that out, guys. It's really, really cool. Heads up, which is uh, edit here, which was not available on Cyanogen mode, but they did a good job. They edit here. It uh, lock screen options, uh, and here you have the really, really good options. You can set it, uh, set the long press lock icon to sleep, because uh, basically you long press this icon here, uh, the lock icon, and it will go to sleep. Really good trick. Thanks for that. Bottom corner targets. I don't know. Uh, it's uh, on Cyanogen mode too. Weather, colors, and clock widget settings. Uh, after that, you will be greeted with power menu. And this is really must-have option for every ROM. On stock Cyanogen mode kernel, on stock um, ROM, you won't find these options which includes uh, screen record, screenshot, power menu, and many, many other. And the sound panel. As you already know, the stock Sanji mode, uh, stock uh, lollipop doesn't support the silent mode, but this one really deserves your uh, like. Gesher Anywhere, which is ported from other popular ROMs, I think the Omni ROM and other popular ROMs, very good thing. And animations. Really, guys, this is the most customizable ROM I have ever seen. You can just set the least view animation, system animation, everything you like. Really, freedom to customization. App circle bar, which you can swipe from the left or right side, and uh, it basically shows the apps you want to show. You can customize even further if you adjust the settings here, right and right and trigger position. I will just set it to high position, not to uh, have some problems with the typing. But I don't think I will use it, so I disable it. And also, 
there are very good the tweaks uh, spread here in settings you will find it really enjoyable and you will definitely fall in love with this uh, I what I have seen and uh, found on this ROM it has some good super user option here which you, you won't find in other ROMs it basically has integrated uh, super user which is also a good thing you won't have to download it from Play Store and other markets it has a good performance profile manager like enable power profiles and also one thing I want to show you guys is the apps the apps are reorganized they are changed and added some tweaks here let's take a look at them a better camera which uh, is unique for this ROM you won't find it on any other ROM what I have tested so far, it's uh, really fast and uh, smooth, takes some decent shots, but as I already said, it's not great or something, not special, but takes some decent shot uh, photos. This please pop wallpapers, which I wasn't able to run, uh, it forced closes on stop, I won't uh, make any uh, further details here. The browser, which is stock engine mode browser. Uh, it's uh, the same browser you won't find on other ROMs and the calculator. Calculator is also stock, some material design here. Calendar, uh, which is also the Sanji mode based clock widget. I wasn't able to find some edit features, but I hope guys you will do this. C clock, which does not have an icon and I don't know why. The regular clock widget which I'm using now, uh, contacts, documents, and uh, this guys, these are two file manager apps, one from Sanji mode and one from OSP. I don't know why they included these two file managers here, but they both work uh, for this ROM. Downloads, email, uh, file manager as I already said, gallery, messaging, and music app. This uh, is my favorite music player which is from Sanji mode. I like that they keep kept that um, player and good job they did not change it to their creepy design application. Uh, the next, next uh, is gallery also the stock Sanji mode app it's first close I don't know why phone and uh, my screen recorder pro which I only downloaded two minutes ago settings sound recorder and the uh, good thing about this it uh, supports the slim engine you can customize any option you want really a good thing and the last app is updates uh, it doesn't work uh, as i know it just shows no uh, updatable i don't know why you have to flash it manually uh, and i think it will be fixed in other updates Overall, what I have tested and seen on this ROM, it, I fell in love with this ROM, guys. It's really customizable and it really uh, makes you wonder why not other ROMs have these options. Performance-wise, it's a little laggier than on other ROMs, but it's really a uh, good thing that the customizing options is here. Battle life is decent. Uh, I won't say it's special or something, but it will last for about four to five hours screen on time and in standby it's about for, for three days or so. I will continue testing this ROM and tell you guys what has changed in full review which will come uh, one week or uh, some in the future, I don't know when. But for now it's a good and fast uh, customizable uh, ROM for Xperia L. Thank you guys for watching this review. If you found it useful, please like and subscribe for more because I'm working on other ROMs and it will be really appreciated if you subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys for watching again. See you guys in the next one. Peace.